happiness through curiosity on TRS clips is it true that words have power and when you're talking about subjective narratives mm. the things you say to yourself or the conversations you have with your friends do they actually have a psychological impact on how your narrative i believe so i definitely believe so i get a lot of people to change the way they speak to themselves i go from i can't do it to i'm going to try and then progress because it's a different feeling if you say it out loud to yourself i can't do it the feelings that come with i can't do it then sort of loom around yeah i think in the middle the one thing i noticed is people found it very cool to say oh my mental health is getting affected and leave the conversation there mm. so what are you doing about it are you going to a professional are you most of them don't most it's, of them don't. it's just the fact that people love being a victim nowadays a lot of younger people it's a it's it's what i call sometimes an emotional drug what it's like an emotional drug right you, you become addicted to feeling yes you get addicted to feeling bad but uh let this term not be used in a loose manner sometimes you don't realize that you are addicted to that particular stance of being a victim like why is everything bad for you that is something you need to sort of sit introspect sit with someone if you can't do it alone and see what is happening in your internal world how can you fix it for yourself how can it be better for you okay if you can't fix it because a lot of things you cannot fix and the the mentality is very clinical right and in, in the clinical world it is let's fix this problem let's fix 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 sometimes you can't fix sometimes you manage and another very beautiful perspective very recently where you know i got to uh, teach gayatri is positive psychology it doesn't mean toxic positivity it means strength building i don't see where you are lacking and what is missing but i take what you have and i build on it like you'll have to break it down through an example sure a uh, very uh, no i'm not going to say very recently a couple of years ago for example uh, i read about a very interesting case of um a uh, not a serial killer but a killer someone who would be paid money to go out there kill people etc uh eventually after many 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 murders and many killings was caught put into rehabilitation this is indian this is indian this is very much indian it sounds like mumbai uh not really mumbai the okay. rehab was not in mumbai but mumbai pune highway okay is what i remember and uh, this person sat with his therapist and his therapist was like what do you see yourself doing in life and the person was like i don't know i don't have a skill set the skill set i have is like killing people you know you can't really do that and they're thinking and thinking and thinking and this is where wisdom is so important and this is what textbooks don't teach you uh the therapist sort of came in and said what is the thing that you know like really think about it he's like all my life all i have done is run that particular person today runs for a profession he is a professional sprinter and he runs different places you know sort of you know how you have your ad campaigns and you have you know people representing people running doing it for charities he is a professional sprinter now that's what we call strength building and that also comes from the wisdom of let's say a good guide a good coach a good mentor uh, a good therapist somebody who can help you really see something and figure that out okay now what i'm going to bring up might sound very cliched and mm. kind of run of the mill very vanilla mm. i feel if you find your passion in life mm. it can protect your mental health in so many ways definitely and that's why there's so much of bad mental health right now because people are not pursuing what they want to do and that's been the problem for so long if you're not going to live and believe me this is a very hard struggle authenticity is so important you know the rebuttal to what you said and i don't agree with the rebuttal mm. but this is what people's rebuttal is yeah they say that oh i don't have the financial capability of doing what i want and i disagree with that because mm. it's 2023 mm. now 
the world of jobs is changing mm. if you really look for it you will find mm. something you enjoy doing mm. especially in the startup uh, world if i had to sort of take your example right and i think it was a recent post of yours where you said uh my parents sort of decided to not help me financially and you started from scratch right you did start all of this from scratch right there will be times it will be hard you want to find a way around it you definitely can Mm. Okay. Everyone doesn't have the same opportunities. Sometimes you have to create your opportunities. You created your opportunity. Yes, we are, you know, luckier than most. I feel I'm being recognized now, eight years in. Yeah. Like there was moments even in year six, year five, where yeah. I felt like I'm just being overlooked. Yeah. That that's a very long time. Eight years is a very very long time, and only you will feel you will feel the time. right when you say 8 years you feel it's long a lot, lot of senior people will be like ha theek hai sirf 8 saal ki hai mm. right so the the rebuttal yes i hear the rebuttal because the rebuttal is given to me a lot during sessions as well when we start, sort of start like talking about managing and finding opportunities making opportunities it is a difficult maze to maneuver it definitely is and not discarding that it is difficult at all but like you said it's 2023 we can sort of try and find opportunities if not anything else start somewhere start anywhere you know start small but move forward definitely move forward in your capacity you never know who you stumble upon okay and um, i will be very like loud and proud about this uh I was just somebody teaching, giving a lecture. I didn't even know I could end up here, and this is a very, very big deal for me, right? So that's just how it works. You never know who knows you, how they know you, where they know you from, but it just happens. Connections work. It happens. You have to just keep at it. You just sort of keep at it, and I know consistency is also hard because that's something a lot of people struggle with. I do too. many times but it's something you just keep going at even in a point one manner even on a bad day if you can do just like one on 10 it's counted for something you know i'd like to highlight something you said previously on this episode which mm-hmm. is that your conscious mind will be saying listen i'm not as privileged as this guy to do what i want but your subconscious mind is saying maybe i'm not brave enough to actually do that thing mm-hmm. which is why i'll overcome my fear with like throwing shit on someone else yeah yeah and uh you're from the you know digital space and you can see how much you know sort of people throw at you no oh, yeah no one's asking them but they throw it at you mm. and that's massive amounts of projection mm. there's a lot of disdain in it there's a lot of like but beyond all of that there's a lot of sadness in it yeah right it's the reality like people listening to this may not even like what i am saying and they might throw crap at this as well but It's the unfortunate truth. So if you enjoy this video, subscribe to TRS Clips for more.